Hello, everybody. Time is now 730. I'm Netta Iranpour. I'm Eric Connor. Glad you're with us. And we are following some breaking news that's happening in Los Angeles right now. We can tell you that several we'll people were hurt control. after a vehicle hit a group of runners near a sheriff's training academy. This happened in the Whittier, Whittier area. And we are told from our CBS Los Angeles station that this includes County Sheriff's Department recruits. They were earlier reporting that at some point they had to shut down Interstate 5 to get the critically injured potential sheriff's recruits to the hospital the quickest. Uh, first responders are on the scene right now. This is a live look. Uh, you can see uh, there is a scene that's set up. Uh, we've got uh, the, the tape up and the, f uh, the fire trucks as well as uh, several articles of clothing lying around. Um, so again, some tragic potential news coming out of Los Angeles in the Whittier area where multiple sheriff's recruits, according to our CBS LA station, have been hit by a car and we are told that that person, that driver that uh, did this is in custody at this point. Yeah, you see that wider view. There's a helicopter likely taking some of those victims uh, to the airport. They obviously needed to get a lot of those people who were potentially hit by the car quickly over to get that medical care. So it's quite a large scene. They were likely uh, on the sidewalk there when they were hit by that vehicle. And in that other shot where the chopper was going closer to the sidewalk, we did see a vehicle right there on the sidewalk. So you do see all of the fire trucks and all all of the crews. Again, this all happened just about an hour ago before 630 this morning. We're told they were possibly on that training exercise. It's not clear what led up to the crash, why this may have happened. But as Eric just mentioned, authorities did detain the driver. So we'll hopefully get more information and bring it to you about, live right here. About 10 to 15 people is what our CBS LA is reporting. So uh, we'll let you know the exact numbers as soon as that comes in.